What's up, everybody? It's Joe LaPuma. You are listening. You are watching the Complex Sneakers podcast. As always, I am with my two guys. First off, to my right, Mr. Matt Welty. Here we are. How you doing? Great. Okay. And to my left, Mr. Brendan Down. Hello. How's it going? Fresh off a of flight. Fresh off a of flight. Delayed. What, what'd you land, five hours ago? No, I got in last night. Okay, you get some sleep? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my flight was significantly delayed. Where did your travels bring you this time? I was out in Oregon. Okay. Spending some time with my parents, nice. which always sounds better in theory than it is in practice, okay. because I don't know about y'all, but for me, it will really test my patience. And these people are getting old, and I want to spend as much time with them as I can and really connect with them on a lot of different topics, you know, uncover some some things we may never have spoken about before, mm -hmm. but it will really test your patience. <laughs> give me one example. <laughs> I will give you two examples. Okay. The day after I got there, my mother's car wouldn't start. Okay. And get out there with the cables and <laughs> give a jump. It was it was about a six hour ordeal because, and I, I know this isn't the the type of topic that people love to hear about on here, mm -hmm. but you know, sharing some personal stories. So, um, the the key fob wouldn't unlock the thing, so we ascertained that the battery was dead. Okay. But the key wouldn't open the door either. Okay. So she called roadside assistance, and they sent a locksmith who couldn't do it. So that guy left. And then somebody else came, and she tried to go to the Subaru dealership to wow. get a new key made, but their key machine was broken. <laughs> oh, that's a rough. That's a rough. That's a rough first twenty-four hours. So like six visit. hours later, and the whole time we're staying at my brother's house, and some guy is like on his knees in the in the road trying to pop the trunk open just to get the, or sorry, trying to pop the hood open just so we could jump the battery. Finally, figure it out six hours later. What a what a mess. Next day, happens again. Separately, I am with my father, and he's driving me around in his brand new PT Cruiser that he's so happy about. Okay. They still make those? I mean, sorry, it's not brand new. It's new to him. <laughs> okay. Somebody died, and he inherited the PT Cruiser. And we go park by a river so we can look at the tides, and he promptly locks his keys in the car. Wow. Very wow. next day. Is it one of those, like, PT Cruiser convertibles? You know what I'm talking about? Remember those? <laughs> I don't think it's the convertible version. A oh. car breaks down in front of the apartment complex. How, <laughs> is many, hours is, how many hours does it take you to <laughs> figure that out? Oh, you well, get out there? I don't think that's in my... Uh, you leave your throne of your, uh, that, that's from your apartment? That's, that, that's not in my not in your purview. Yeah. yeah, that's not in... Al a, although I think we've talked about it here before. Wealthy is the kind of guy I would trust in those situations. Definitely. You, fix, you, you jump a car. How long? 30 oh, minutes. Gosh. You know how to jump a car? Uh, yes. What about change a tire? Uh, would you have to watch a YouTube video first, or you would jump right into it? I, no can, pun intended? I can jump. You, you guys never jumped a car before. I, ha I think I have. I have never. I've changed a tire. It. I never. Oh, I re never really owned a car as a kid. I crashed my mom's car one time, oh, and then boy. after that, never, never really owned a car. All right. And so, <laughs> again, not the, not maybe the. How was the trip other than that? You get to any campuses or no? Stay away this time. Um, we did not go to the Nike campus. Didn't make any, like, sneaker industry people mad over the weekend. Did I? No. It's, it's, oh, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, no, it's, did you? it's certainly possible. Um, God knows I have a knack for that, but <laughs> none that I'm... Didn't leak any pertinent info? Totally aware of. No, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Week's still early. How yeah. about you? Ah. Saturday night, we watched the UFC or no? I did, I did not okay. watch UFC on Saturday night. Actually, Saturday was one of the most, like... Chill. I'd say the most like adulting sort of uh, evenings where hung out with my friends in the afternoon, had three light beers, <laughs> was done by 6.30, went home, ordered dinner, just called it a night. Oh, I thought I, you were going to say you went to CB2 and bought some furniture or something. Yeah. No, 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 but it was just like, oh, you know. The new Matt Welty. And what yeah. about Super Bowl? Any big parties? What'd you got? Were you, did you do anything? Welty? Didn't do anything okay. on Super Bowl. Joe? No, you didn't do any. Were you no, I wasn't there. What food did you order? Um, I ordered Shake Shack, and made pigs in a blanket, which always a hit. The best, <laughs> the best, <laughs> and pizza bites. We did pizza bites as well. Totinos. Right. Yeah. What do you mean we? Were you with the family? Uh, just I had a couple couple people over. Yeah. yeah not the family. I didn't go home. Yeah. Uh, Halftime show though. Fifty Cent. Surprise guest, with big moment top? for me. Big moment <laughs> for you. We may bring the G unit, unit tank top. Back. There, there were also uh, he put he posted like a minute after <laughs> that they're on sale. There were a few, again. <laughs> there were a few uh, jokes on yeah. that. Joke. Yeah, I saw the jokes. How many G unit tank tops did you? Own I, back never had, I never no. had. I never had. I never had a G unit tank top. I did have a satin jacket at UConn that mm. I brought to like a 
a stitches and screens type of yeah. place on campus and made them put G unit across <laughs> across Wait, would 50 the chest. Have, would fifty have checked you if he saw you in that like a? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like you, Maybe. Like you're not part of the crew. But you the, can't the, wear this. But that was because in the Wankster video, 50 was wearing a 76ers, I believe, satin jacket. So okay. that's – I was going on eBay and finding, like, satin jackets, and I put G-Unit across. I remember going into the South Dining Hall at UConn with that. But uh, – I, I saw, like, one of the best ones fit. was yeah. this, like, 50 Cent looking like how we all look trying on the – G unit tank top. And, yeah, yeah. But and, shouts and to put 50. action back in the day. Hey, how about this one? Dr. Dre showing up in the all black Air Force One mid. About as bad a choice of sneaker. No, you no could, swoosh. You could come up with. Yeah, and then the swoosh, which Ian Stoneberg pointed out on Twitter. What's up with that? I don't know. The swoosh was cut off the Air Force One mids. We were doing a little bit of speculating, trying to figure it out. I have, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah, one you of know, those. Sometimes when you when you cover a brand or cut off a logo, yeah. it's because you don't want to piss off some sponsors. But the Nike. Sponsors the NFL. The only yeah. and this isn't confirmed or anything. But yeah, the only, pure speculation. The only here. speculation that we'd even come up with is Dr. Dre being such a money-minded businessman. Is that it's like if Nike's not cutting him a check to wear them, then he doesn't want to give them "quote unquote" free advertising. But not cutting me a check, I'm not wearing the check. But also, we said too, it's crazy because not a lot of people think. It, when you first mentioned white and white Air Force mm -hmm. Ones, but Dr. Dre is like the white on white yes. Air Force One guy. His yeah. closet, all oh, it is a white on white Air Force Ones. We sure those weren't the Celine Air Force Ones that we were talking about <laughs> hey. last week? Might you have have been, a, you know, Dr. Dre confirmed yeah. listening to imagine, this on uh, Imagine Apple, Apple, I heard I heard the boys on the Complex on Sneakers Music. podcast. I'm bringing them out for the <laughs> halftime show. Listen, if anybody knows why Dre was wearing the swooshless Air Force One mids, Please let us know because that's that's a mystery I would like to solve. Yeah. Also, Eminem's Jordan Threes, which Welty was hyped about. Yeah, what's going on there? You were super hyped about. Which is them. Weird I was not which hyped. Is, I just think they look really cool. Just because of the E on the tongue. That, I know. Like, I think the. I wasn't impressed. The only difference was the E on the tongue and the shady on the that's heel. What right. I thought was well. That's and, cool. And icy soul. Okay. Icy soul. I just thought the replacing the Jumpman logo with the hi, I'm Slim Shady. Yeah. Hi, my name is Some Shady Tag was cool. And I got like a bit of blowback on Twitter just for saying like I never was an Eminem fan. Like, oh, that'll I, always. I saw yeah. him prefer, yeah. No, but that prefer. wasn't like, I mean, because I think a lot of people, when they see that post that there's like a lot of like diehard rabid like Eminem fans. Absolutely. Like no matter what Eminem does, they're all about it. Yeah. And I wasn't like trying to like take a shot or anything like that. It just prefaced it saying, hey, I never. Despite not being that. Yeah, just Eminem, not, I never like grew up show. like. You he, never listen to Lose Yourself before a. a <laughs> Before a gym session? Uh, <laughs> no, man. The no? only the only Eminem I really remember listening to was he had a song on Sound, sound Bombing, sound bombing two. Volume yeah. 2. As, as Dave Matthews, one of our producers, turns around to make sure that he Any nods man. his head. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wasn't really into the whole like, Britney Lyricist Spears and yes. fart jokes uh, growing up. Yeah. But, um, but see, this is why Wealthy remains an enigma because it's an Air Jordan and it's an Eminem sneaker. Two things that do not check any yeah. kind of box for him, and yet still he's on Twitter and he loves it. I, I wasn't impressed with the sneaker. No, it was fine, but I, I just I don't know. It, let's let's say this though, way better than Eminem twos. Yeah, Eminem two, not a great shoe, <laughs> but not better than the Eminem fours. No, which are great. Which we will which talk one about do you which one do you on. which one do you rate more, Joe? The black or the blue? <sighs> blue. The encore one, yeah, yeah for sure. Blue. But no. the black ones are great too. But the blue. Remember when a. Uh, <sighs> NCB, our former editor in chief. Photo shoot wore them. Which one? No, he well he got the shoes. The Carhartt one, right? The no, Carhartt. the Carhartt. Yeah, 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 yeah. he got the, the Carhartt. He wore them in the COVID tour shoot. Oh, but no, no, no. But we had. I just remember. So maybe, maybe you guys weren't involved in that. He had gotten the shoes at the office, and it was like such a big deal because they're like personally sent from like Paul Rosenberg mm -hmm. or whatever. And the shoes come, and it was like either. Andy Herr mm -hmm. or David Cabrera at the time. I forget. Two complex Shot photographers. Him. Yeah, one of the complex photographers at the time. Or David obviously still works with the company. And um, Noah was like, hey, can you guys go shoot these shoes? And he's like, but don't like unlace them or like not that he was planning on selling yeah, them or yeah, anything yeah. but handle them with white gloves yeah <laughs> he knew it was like a twenty thousand dollar big shoe shoe and it was like it was like a it was stressful just to even shoot those things <laughs> oh. great times man the memory what an era what, definitely an era <laughs> Plenty, plenty more big events. You know, we had the Super Bowl last weekend. All Stars coming up this All week, Star. and then in between that, our friend Trinidad James has a pop up. 
New York City. In we Soho this week. It'll Sockiness. already pass by the time this episode airs. But How many days? It's just, actually today. Just today? Yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. Maybe we pop up after this. 12 Might four. pop out at the pop-up, yeah. Mm-hmm. New Sock and released. Him. The Black Shoe, Black History Month with the tricolor glow on bottom. I, I didn't saw know, that. I did not know that it glowed that color. It's cool. It's very cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah shouts to Trinidad. He, those are the ones that he wore on this episode, right? Yes. He teased yeah. them a little yeah, bit? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Joe, are you you're going to All Star this coming weekend? We'll right? be at All Star. Uh, celebrity game? Did they? Not yet. They didn't get. Haven't the been. A, haven't asked. Haven't asked to be in the celebrity game yet. And they haven't asked you. Oh, that's what I thought you were asking. Oh, I thought you were saying that you haven't asked them. Oh no, no. Neither. No, neither. No requests. <laughs> no requests for the celebrity how, game. Sorry, sorry, not to bring it back to the Super Bowl. How do you rate, or how do we rate, Joe Burrow's pregame fit? Um. Pretty bad. I was into Odell's fit. That's what I would say. Pretty bad. Is that, you is, like, it got so much coverage. It, I it, well, I'm just, that's, why, that's why I brought it up. Joe I felt like yeah. It was like definitely a talking point. Who the, framed Roger Rabbit looking ass? Right? <laughs> with oh, wow. the, with wow. the, yeah, looking like a Warren Beatty sort yeah. of like suit. What um, about the shoe surgeon making Odell the most expensive cleats of all time? $200,000, the swooshes from the jeweler, Jason of Beverly Hills? Yeah. That was a special show. Crazy. I know. You, I know you're happy to see Odell get a get a yes. ring. Yes, yes. <sighs> what about? Uh, we were talking about All Star Weekend. We will be there. Uh, we won't be there. I'll be there All Star Weekend. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be there All Star Weekend. In and out, flex. though. I, I don't even know if I'm staying for the game. Just got well, some. Hang out with Zach? You never hear anyone say. Just got some I'm, business. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to Cleveland on vacation. <laughs> you hang just out go, with Zach DeBasic? I'm gonna see Zach. DeBasic. Take him out to dinner. Yeah, or he'll take you out to dinner. We have to do that. Boy, take you out to the local Cleveland hot spots. Definitely. Definitely going to see Zach there. Yeah, in and out. Then back to New York. Couple mm-hmm. shoots this week. Mm-hmm. Couple shoots next week. What else? Keep going. We just keep <laughs> going. You guys shooting this week or no? I know you shot last week. Uh, we're shooting next week. Yeah, we're. Yeah. Uh, people keep. It's it, it's increasingly frequent now. Asking when full size run is coming back. Yep. As of this coming out, we'll be back the following week. Ooh. That following Thursday. So six Finally. days. Six days from when this comes out. Yeah. Start the countdown. Get the clocks ready. You got you guys in mid-season form with the sneakers or no? <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean mid-season form? Oh, I think I've, I've worn these before, but just trying to think of what you're going to wear. New yeah. Balance 2002R? Yes. Is that the Invincible one? Yes. Came with the shrink wrap packaging, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Keep going. Nice looking sneaker. Nice looking shoe. What about you? Um, I am doing the Notre Vans. Yep. And you will see these. Handshake. Yeah, <laughs> the handshake. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I... I there's not space here to explain what the handshake we emoji to. means to us, no. right? Okay. Although people okay. are commenting, stop teasing stuff that no one knows. I got a. Oh really? Yeah, I got a few comments like that. Well, the be- the best like, the best comment. Can't tell everything. The best comment. It's also inside I, jokes that aren't funny. To the best else. comment I saw on the <laughs> As we talk on about the, them on the episode last week was anyone who's wondering the Kith and Ronnie Fag mentions are at like seven fifty three yeah. and twelve <laughs> ninety. I mean twelve thirteen. <laughs> like the watermark. Yeah. yeah. Or the the timestamp. Yeah. I, by the way, enough about my footwear. Joe LaPuma coming as close as he's ever come to on this what? show, or maybe publicly ever, to wearing a white sneaker. Had to, rem- had to remind them. Book. Had to remind them how good the 180s were after our discussion about CDG. About CDG last week. I stand by what I said there. Okay. Still not impressed with their overall Nike. I resume. like those though. Yeah. It's gonna wear the black ones. I went out. Oh. Do you have the the pink one? Yes. The pink on pink. Okay, yeah. you did the whole set. Yeah. Beautiful. I think that that one gets a little underrated sometimes. You don't the, which one? The pink on pink? Yeah. Okay, the black pink is the one. Black pink I is think the one. pink one is the one. Really? Oh, I think black and pink. Joe's no. correct. I think the... Technically, the black and the pink is the best one. The all pink. Okay. Um. By the way, uh, speaking about recent pickups and stuff, I, which I guess, is that a fine segue? Were we speaking about recent pickups? Not really, right? Oh, this is a Those recent, recent pickup pick Okay, yeah, it works. Yeah. I'm already regretting not trying harder to buy the Union Dunk, but I think we will figure it out. Oh, okay. Think you got it in? Think we will figure it out. Did you add your name to the Google spreadsheet? (laughs) There there we go. We're referencing stuff people don't know about. I don't even even know that. That will pan out in a couple weeks. You'll see on the upcoming episode. Oh. Yeah, you'll you'll see. Okay. (laughs) Should we give away some sneakers? Let's do it. Okay. Speaking about Talking pickups about, yeah, and purchases. Sneakers we're getting. Let's let's enough about us. Let's give you some sneakers. Let's do it. So every week on the Complex Sneakers podcast, we give away a free pair of sneakers with our friends at eBay Sneakers via their authenticity guarantee program. Mm-hmm. We ask for submissions. If you go to eBay.complex.com, you can submit a question for us to answer here on the air. Open to US residents only. If we pick out your question and address it, we are gonna send you a free pair of sneakers. 
courtesy of eBay. Joe, who's our winner this week? Our winner is Keith from... Duluth, right? Duluth. Okay. Yes. What does Keith want to know? Keith wants to know, once you finally cop a grail, mm -hmm. do you, one, rock them, mm -hmm. display them, or are you icing the bottoms? Okay. Which... I wouldn't Ice use the bottoms. <laughs> I wouldn't, okay. Keith. I wouldn't use that exact terminology. I don't know if that's like a regional Duluth dialect type thing. Icing them. I just they, they put them, out, just they put them outside in Duluth. <laughs> Minnesota. And ice, the bottom. <laughs> ice them in general, right? Like put them Minnesota. away. Minnesota. Can we show what we're giving Keith? Show him. Okay. Have a pair, Keith, for you. Re he just reached back like Odell on that ice, one. <laughs> ice the bottoms okay. if you want. An ancient pair of Nike Dunk Low Uncurry. Wow. You don't. You're not going to see these around. Look at the history. Until no, Nike retros them. And no middle of the months. mall stuff here. Nike Dunk Low, Uncurry, Dark Curry. Beautiful shoe. Look at that color blocking. Yeah. Um, Stands it, up 20, how long? 20 years later? Yeah, a little, little, little more than that. Maybe 21. 23. Um, 23. 23. This shoe looks a little bit like that red and white one they did recently, right? They did, what, yep. what did they call that? Um, that's not the know. champ's color. I don't know. I can't remember all these random dunk things. Anyways. Keith, doesn't matter the name. You're getting this free pair of dunks coming straight to Duluth for you. Oh. Answering the question. Grails, when we get them, what do we do with them? So I think because we have shows two times a week, mm -hmm. I think for me it's changed even – or not even changed, but the thought of like icing grails. Icing the bottoms. <laughs> yeah, or <laughs> icing grails, you know. I think that for big episodes sometimes you want to wear something special. Wear something special just cuz it's just an added layer to yep. to remember the episode and and saving some, you know, grails for big guests or yeah. a guest that you've been chasing down for years or a season premiere or a season finale. I think that most of the grails I would wear right away. Not right away. So you are icing the bottoms. So I am icing the bottoms for a little bit, but... And put some sea glow on it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I, I wear them, and I, I pick them for, like, special yeah. special occasions, I would say. Yeah. Uh, I got one, and I got one, I got one coming. I don't really... you guys will know. I look forward to it. I think I've mentioned this. I don't, I'm not, like, the biggest person to, like, go back and find random, sh like, old shoes and pay a ton of money for them. So, yeah, like, same. acquiring grails really isn't my thing as yeah. much um but when it comes to like stuff that i get that i would consider grail level shoes mm -hmm. um if it's like like you said like if it's something for a show yeah like maybe i'll wear it like if i get a like oh like a hype pair of new balance or adidas or something like that where yeah. I'm like this shoe is a little more special but it's not like that crazy i'm like i'll still i'll still wear them you know um, for like, but I want to wear them like the first time. Like I think I mentioned, this, like the first time I want to wear them like on full size run. Yeah, on, yeah, on the yeah. Podcast. Really. What do you think is the most hype out. shoe that you've worn on full size run? Uh, hype, probably like one. Union Fours or something like that. Yeah, okay. that's got to be it, right? But even when I get a shoe like that, so Union Fours, I'm on year threes, like okay. shoes that I do own. Did you wear the threes for the show? Uh, I think I might have worn them once. Yeah, but. When they're in, like, when you get, like, a hype shoe and it's, like, in the packaging and has, like, all the lace tags and everything, yeah. I'm like, oh, I don't want to, like, it's just sitting there in the box, like, perfect. And yeah. I kind of, like, don't. I see bottoms. I don't want to, like. I know what you mean. I know what you perfect mean. Perfect example. The Shaq it. wearing the 1985 Jordan 1s is, like, I, I wanted to give an example, but yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's basically an example yeah. Yeah. that I wore. What uh, about you? For me, if I acquire a sneaker that I really want, I'm definitely tucking it away for a while. Just in general. If I buy a shoe, I'm not the guy to wear it right away. This sounds maybe a little hypocritical based on the sneaker I have on my feet, which I put on pretty quickly. But other than that, and, and in most instances, when I get a new pair of sneakers, I will put them away. We talked about this, like yeah. if, especially if it's a new shoe that just came out. I'm like, no, you're not going to see this. You said it's years. either cool to wear like a month yeah, before it came just... out or like six years after it came yeah, out. Yeah, exactly. So I guess the, the rule is a little bit different if it's a grail because presumably it's already something old and hard to find. So I don't have to worry about it being saturated. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm icing the bottoms, Keith. Don't need to ice those bottoms. No, they're looking, they're looking plenty icy. New pair of sneakers coming to you from eBay's Authenticity Guarantee Program. Thank you, eBay Sneakers. Should we bring on our guest? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Our guest on today's podcast is a music executive who's been in the industry for over 20 years. During that time, he helped shape the careers of artists like The Clips, The Dream, Designer, Tyga, and Pop Smoke. His continued ascension in the industry has come with titles like COO of Good Music 
SVP of a and at Universal, and the EVP and head of a and at Def Jam. His ear has landed him in studio sessions with some of the industry's most forward artists, and he's been in the mix for deals like Pusha T's multi-year Adidas partnership. Besides a new Pusha album and working on Donna 2, he's spearheading Nigo's I Know Nigo album, which marks the General's return to music in almost 20 years. The album, which is set to drop later this year, features artists like ASAP Rocky, Kid Cudi, Lil Uzi Vert, and will release on Victor Victor Worldwide, a label that our guest founded. He's here to talk music, fashion, sneakers, and everything in between. Please welcome Stephen Victor. How you doing? I'm okay. How are you? Good. <laughs> welcome. Pulled up in a human-made Adidas. Yeah. Very, very appropriate. I feel like this guy has like all the access to human-made that one could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Well, Surprise, though. No Jordan 6s? I thought Jordan 6s is the mode that you're in. I am, definitely. What does the Jordan 6 signify for you? Talk about like that shoe, and and I think even in an interview with Complex that we recently did, you, you said something like, you know, I got my sixes on, so that yeah, means those it's were time. a couple of things. Those were the first Jordans I ever got. Okay, mm. as a kid, you know, there was. Um, Do was you remember kid. the circumstances around getting them? Yeah, you know, um, my mom got them for me, but we went to like a bunch of different stores, and then I remember her just complaining about how expensive they were. Yeah, like it was like a big thing. Like they didn't have your size, and you had to keep going from store to store. Or? I don't remember if it was. My size, I think I was trying to um, like trick my mom. So it was one of those <laughs> things. I can't remember exactly why we went to so many different stores. Yeah. But yeah. It was probably something along the lines of me. Um, and then now, trick, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Figure out yeah. a way to get my mom to get <laughs> yeah. it for me. So. <laughs> yeah, and then for now, now what is it like? Is it really like a sentimental thing, like an album mode or something, or what? I mean, it's definitely sentimental, but it's, all, it's also my favorite sneaker. So yeah. there was a period in time, I feel like, when um, I was coming up in the industry, I used to wear those sneakers. I probably wore those sneakers every day for like five years. The black infrared ones? Yeah. yeah. So I would go to like different countries, different states, and buy as many as I can. People ever like call five. you out for that? Because one time I remember that would like the Black Cement Jordan 3 was my go to Jordan sneaker. Yeah. Every time I would go to a Jordan event, I would have the Black Cement 3s on. And this no, one I guy wore them worked, every day. Yeah, but Not people, just like people at, were like, Do you have any other Jordans? I'm like, Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I got other Jordan. <laughs> I didn't have so, any other Jordans. Okay. <laughs> it was, you know? But you got like, like sort of like the Mark Zuckerberg sort of like wardrobe where it's like yeah, the, same. Of, the same thing every day. <laughs> How many LA Dodgers fitted do you have on deck at all times? At all times? Yeah. Maybe 30. Oh, wow. I bought them in 30 clips. You know what I'm saying? About How many wears <laughs> per? Maybe like a month. Yeah. And then and just like toss them. it? Yeah. Just check it. <laughs> All right. So Jordan 6s when album and, and there's. You, know, you guys remember when like Kanye kind of like made that, like the Jordan 6 like a thing? Yeah. 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 2010s, early 2010s. Yeah. We connected on that because I had I had the OGs on when I went to Hawaii. With the Nike Air on the back? The Nike Air on what do you yeah. say when he saw you wear them? He was like, at the, t I, at the time, I guess those were his favorite sneakers also. Yeah. Aren't those the ones he wore with like that tan suit? Remember he, he was performing. I defer to you. Joe remembers every. Yeah, he was Kanye performing. I think he had a tan suit on and he had the infrareds, the infrared really? sixes on. I thought that was like leather pants era, but probably maybe. that was. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have some leather pants? Do you? No, never. No. I barely wear pants. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't, you don't wear pants. <laughs> I mean, I wear sweats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to get back on this human made tip though. Okay. Uh, when did you first meet Nigo? Uh, maybe like 2013 or there? 10-ish. Okay. What, what were the circumstances? The first time I met him, I don't think it was in Japan. I think it was in the States. Pharrell was doing like some festival. Yeah. Mm. Or maybe Pusha was doing a festival mm -hmm. and he was there. I think maybe it might have been in Texas. Some like weird festival. And that was the first time I met him. Do you guys really connect at that point? Because like, it, it, nah, he probably like, like who's this weirdo that wants to take a picture with me? Sure, <laughs> I'll, I'll take a picture with you. <laughs> <laughs> and then do you know like where you know you guys kind of formalized your friendship because now you're you know you're putting together oh, that album yeah i do Nigo, i do you know, know when you know we got close that was maybe like in 2016 because i um he had an there was a human made event at, at bbc store yeah okay and kevin who works with me he was you know we were talking about like my label and the logo and he jokingly said you should you know you should ask nigo to do your logo mm -hmm. yeah like as a joke, and I, was yeah. like, <laughs> and I walked over to Nigo. How and much of like, a joke was it when you asked him? Or for you, it wasn't a joke at all. I mean, it wasn't a joke. At, I mean, yeah. it was like half a joke. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. You know, that's pretty serious. Unless you gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? know. yeah. It's like the classic thing when you ask somebody. Like we talk about asking people for free sneakers all the time, and you like oh, yeah, it's you not give them the half <laughs> joke thing <laughs> yeah. of like, yeah. yeah, man, if you want to throw a yeah, it was one of those. Yeah. So I just went up to him and asked him, and he was like, oh, come to Japan, and you know. He probably didn't think I was going to come to Japan. Right. Like call, call <laughs> you just booked that flight like right on your phone, like right there. <laughs> no, so then I started talking to Dan. Dan, 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 Dan Doyle, who works with Nigo. Okay. Yeah. I, I think what Nigo meant was, you, you know, whenever you're in Japan, you know, 
just hit hit us up and we could talk about it. Yeah. But I took it as come to Japan like next week. Got it. <laughs> so I started hitting Dan. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what's Nico's schedule? Yeah. I'm and, get this flight. You know what I mean? And he was like, oh, Nico's gonna be in Japan during this time. So I was like, okay, cool. We can meet on this day. And he was like, yeah. So I booked a flight. I went to Japan for one day. Wow. Just for that. Just for that. <laughs> what was it like seeing his like atelier for the first time? And he like, oh, I saw his atelier before that trip. Okay. Yeah. I was like, it was like mind blowing. I mean, you've seen it. Right? Yeah. It's like. <laughs> Do you have to borrow anything? Maybe a couple shirts, <laughs> jo jokingly. <laughs> Pair of pants Yo, from hundred years ago. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I heard, you travel a lot, obviously, just dealing with albums and fan mm -hmm. this and that. I heard that you you're a light packer because sometimes you just show up and you buy stuff in the yeah. city. That talk about that. It's like very cumbersome to travel with luggage. Okay, so that's part of it. Plus the other thing is like I don't wear like I wear the same thing every day, so I go to different cities. I just go like to go shopping. But to bring it, I want to ask you to bring it back to like the whole Nigo and Bay Bear. Obviously, you being connected to Pusha, yeah, Clips. I mean, obviously, you know. The line closet like planet of the Bapes. Do you do you remember like what that era was like in you know the whole like clips and like, yeah, were you like wearing a lot of bape back then? There's nothing to compare to like as far as like what's going on today, but that shit was like it was magical. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the bape store and to get like the exclusive bapes or the exclusive hoodie. It was like <laughs> so there's tons of camo. Yeah, it was like having that's like today, like you know what I'm saying, like, you know, those Patex are rare, or, like Yeah. It's like it was like having a Super rare Patel. Being on that level what, back what's your then? take then on the so. whole? I know there's a lot of talk about you know like Soldier Boy was out there. You yeah. know the whole like who made Bape famous? Yeah, it was Pharrell in the clips. No doubt about it. That's not, <laughs> and he and Soldier Boy even on Pharrell's podcast they talked about. Oh him. really? Yeah, really? he was like well, plus like Soldier Boy had on fake Bapes, right? <laughs> yeah, I got me some Bape names. <laughs> 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 that didn't convince you to go buy a pair of you? <laughs> nah, that definitely. Because I know there was, like, because we've had, like, Currency on our other talk show, and he was, like, big into Bape, Bape at the yeah. time, and he had said he had gotten Wayne to wear it, and then oh, that's okay. how the whole, like, Thing snafu with, with Pusha, like, had yeah. occurred. That was, but... that was your man Toshi. Mm -hmm. that's Who's the... Toshi? Toshi? Toshi's, like, a friend of ours I used to work so at. So Toshi... Oh, I'm no... I know him, yeah. Toshi interviewed um, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Toshi was... Um, before there was clickbait, Toshi would like bait you. <laughs> he was you the with pioneer? It. He was the pioneer of He like was a journalist, quote yeah. unquote? He, he, he no no offense, Toshi. I don't he know. He wrote you. cover stories for us. Yeah. Toshi. Okay. <laughs> I remember, I remember You're sitting him. on the yeah. complex. Every, <laughs> every cover story he wrote would make news. The he knew little, how to get the line. I mean, I, he did the interview. I just remember when it came out, I was like, oh, there goes Toshi again. The Lil Wayne <laughs> um, the, cover story, I think, was the Travis Barker issue. The best yeah. rapper alive one? Noah Callahan Bever's first issue as editor in chief of Complex. Yeah. That's where that started from the the interview where Lil Wayne was like, "I made Bay Pot." Uh, yeah, Toshi. Yeah. <laughs> but Toshi like baited him. If you know Toshi, you know he's someone that'll like. Okay. He was like a really good journalist in the sense yeah. that he'll get you. I to like say that we, we're saying that he's say. a really good journalist because again, yeah. I don't know. It sounds like yeah. we're talking down on yeah. Toshi. No, 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 we're not talking down on Toshi. You're friends. Yeah, okay, we're okay, not talking okay, down on no, him. We're bigging him up. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's that's like an art to get someone to say what you want them to say. Oh yeah. How many pairs of Bape sneakers did you have back then? Um, I had a, a lot, but not as many as I wanted. I didn't have that much money back then, so I had, mm. I'd have to, I couldn't just go in the store and be like, yo, give me the whole row. <laughs> you're not, you're not like, I know Pusha and Pharrell, like, give yeah, me Yeah, they were like, okay, we'll give you a discount. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know? At least you got a discount. Though. I did, I, I got a well, discount. How heavy was the discount? It was pretty, it was pretty, it's pretty good. good. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, just, it's, <laughs> it's interesting though, because I like, I mean, like how you're dressed now, it doesn't seem like you're a very like colorful guy when it comes to clothes, like yeah. more like muted palette, but Bapes being like the loudest shoes like on the planet, you know? Yeah, it's like an evolution, you know? Yeah, like he's, jewelry's, car, cars and jewelry yeah. is now the thing. <laughs> yeah. Did Nigo do a chain for you or no? He designed it. Okay. And then he had like this chain that I think Pharrell designed. That Jacob made, and I was like, I was like, oh. yeah, because we see that. Like, Yo, can I can I copy that? Because you know you, you can't copy someone's chain, but. right? <laughs> we see the video, the the new video, the single with Rocky. You guys are cleaning jewelry in in the video. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let me take a step. So like one of the chains, Nigo, I just copied one of his designs, but the chains that I have actually Pharrell designed it because wow. I was like, y'all want to get these big chains, and he was like, no, you should do it like this, very like more understated, like kind of like your style. You say understated, but how into limited footwear are you? Is it something that like moves you or, or no. no? 
But you have the Chanel Pharrell. I do. Yeah, he's saying no. Like <laughs> talk, I've, seen the, talk, I've seen the photos on your Instagram, Stephen. Yeah, I mean, I'm not like moved by. I just love certain sneakers. Mm-hmm. You know, what I'm saying certain things that make um, that are sentimental to me. It's like the Pharrell Chanel. Like I love Chanel's a brand, and Pharrell I look up to. He's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I jacked that, and in the sixes, they're not like that exclusive. But I just love the sneaker, right? Yeah. And then, um, like the Human Made. There's like a connection there with like Nigo and I love the sneaker, but I don't like go around like connect collecting sneakers. Like you know, there's like you'll go to the store and there'll be sneakers there for like three, four, five thousand dollars. It's not you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how, how do you compare those Pharrell Chanel's to like the rest of the sneakers Pharrell's done over the years? Is that like the one I think, for yeah, you, or there's like the Roadsters that he had like back in the day? Nah, those are the ones. For yeah, me, yeah. I still want the Pharrell Roadsters. Those Me too. Fire. Can't find them anywhere. Yeah. You have Our guy like a... King of Creams who like sourced it yeah, for, yeah, for the yeah. Pharrell sneaker shopping. Yeah. Like said you can't really find them. You're talking them. about the, the Babes though, right? Yeah. 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 The, yeah. Surely you had those back in the day. I didn't. No? With the Pharrell no. on the back? With the Pharrell on the back, nah. How do you not get that plug? I didn't. You wore them in I the was low. I was, I was totem pole bottom back then. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Do you know if like Pusha or the Clips were ever close to getting... A Bape sneaker, because that's like an interesting thing to me is because it felt like they were just as much on Bape as Pharrell oh, yeah, was, sure. but there was never an official okay. partnership. Yeah, I don't I don't know why that was. Yeah. Let's ask Nigo. Joe got to ask Nigo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ask Nigo real quick and uh, see if he can help us out on this one. What was it like being part of like sneaker deals as of recent, like the Pusha Adidas deal? Like how did um, that come about? Like how long was that process? How involved that were you? a very in? long process. Really? Yeah, I mean from the time when... Um, he developed a relationship with them to where he was just doing activations to the time of him getting his own sneaker and own clothing with them and them actually doing a, like a multi-year, like multi-million dollar deal with him. That was maybe like five years. And it's like concerts, appearances, like you said, but mm-hmm. to jump to get the shoe is a yeah, whole different animal. For sure, yeah. And then the design, how did, did you have a hand in it? Did, did, the, as far as the design? Yeah. I mean, it, it was more so like Push's design. I would give mm-hmm. my input at the table and be like, yo, I think this. But ultimately, it was like you, his vision. And you his. weren't like, hey, Adidas is never going to let you make a cocaine sneaker? No, he was like, I want a cocaine sneaker. This is what <laughs> <laughs> the, first, the first one was the all white, yeah, all white. Yep. with like the crackled yeah. leather yeah, exactly. on and, it. And it had like the Pyrex like lines on like and the, the snake skin. Yeah. 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 And the packaging, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like a... <laughs> you guys I mean, like my, you my weren't thing thinking is, that it was like pushing it too far at the time not at all like you know what they say ignorance is bliss right i love deal making so and then pusher was like his focus was on the design aspect of the sneaker i wanted to ask about that like you're notorious for music deals but like what's the difference between like music industry deals and like sneaker brand deals kind of navigating um, it and setting it up like is one more difficult than the other or no nah, they're the same the only thing is that sneaker deals are like you can curse on the show? Yeah. 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 Sneaker deals are like shit. Really? Yeah. I mean, for for entertainers, they, I'm sure they're different for athletes, but. You mean the pay just isn't very good? Like the royalty, the pay is good. They'll give you like the upfront money is good. Yeah. But the royalties are, they're low. Yeah. Do you know if Pusha was getting a royalty on every shoe he sold? He was. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not. And then eventually we got it to a place where he was, where we were happy with it. But initially yeah. it was like a low royalty. And then it, you know, as we did more business with them, it. Yeah. They raised it. Yeah. And is that like continue? Is there like plans for more or? Yeah, we're in talks with them right now. Okay. <laughs> Are we renegotiating right now? Is this <laughs> okay? A, yeah. <laughs> any messages we should send to Adidas <laughs> in, this, in this moment? <laughs> I think they got the message. Okay. We had we had John Wexler yeah. on this show. How recent? Uh, <laughs> after, after, after Adidas. Adidas. Oh, like, no, no, no. I just love yeah. Wex. No, yeah. Like, yeah. After, course, like it was. It wasn't too long after he. What was left. it last? Sum- was it summer? Uh. I, I think it was last summer, yeah. yeah. It was like right after he had, when he had joined uh, Shopify. Shopify yeah. And we had asked him what his first conversation with Pusha was like after uh-huh. he dropped, you know, like leaking that Drake had the Adidas contract oh. and everything. Yeah. And he was like, you know, there's this guy I'm trying to sign who decided to, you know, the other guy I already signed decided to make a song about him and like put it out there. <laughs> do, do you remember like how tense that was at the time or? Um, I don't know if it was, maybe it was tense at Adidas. It wasn't really tense on our, you know. Adidas didn't call your line screaming about? Hmm. Maybe, maybe someone at Adidas <laughs> might have said something. <laughs> you weren't too worried about it. Yeah. <laughs> I got to ask who, did you ever see the Drake Adidas line that leaked? Like, did, did you guys have it. photos of it? Or you just no, I never saw it. I don't know if, yeah. yeah, I never saw it. Yeah, interesting. 
pushing forward for merch though. Yeah. Like the Nego human made, the Victor Victor, like jackets. Like I see, I think Odell was wearing one. Like yeah. what's this, what's the deal with that? Like exactly like production and things like that. So we would, this is interesting because we were just talking about Wexler, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, initially I was talking to, I always liked, the, 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 those are varsity jackets, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, varsity yeah. jackets. So, um, like I was talking to Dan, I was like, yo, I want to make varsity jackets for like my artists and people that work for the label. You know, so he, he was like, okay, cool. Like I'll, old Def Jam style, right? Yeah, like exactly. Back in the day. So yeah. he's like, I'll speak to, to Nego and we'll get like a design going. We'll go back and forth. So they designed a jacket and they sent me some. And then I was sitting at my house with um, one of my friends, this guy, he's a uh, photographer. He's like a really good photographer, Harrison Boyce. Mm. And we, we had the jacket and he was like, yo, you should really sell these jackets. He's like, you should, not only should you sell the jackets, but you should, um, you should like start putting out like t-shirts and stuff like that. And I was like, you think so? And he was like, yeah, I have a friend that I shot for, and they're doing some some stuff with, like, Shopify um, with this guy named, you might know him, this guy named John Wex. So I was like, oh, yeah. I, <laughs> you might I, know I, him. <laughs> I was like, I know Wex. And he was like, he, I didn't know he was at Shopify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, he works at Shopify now. You should reach out to him. So I hit him, and I was like, yo, you know, I, I just hit him and said, like, if you know me, like, the way I text yes, is yes. I just write, yo, with like, yep. eight O's, yeah. you know, Y, and like... <laughs> yeah. It's like so the Kanye thing, high with a bunch of eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I don't say what I want, I say yo, and depending on how your response is. It could go either, it it could go go either way. Bunch of ways. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> I like that as an opener, because then the person has no idea. They have no like, idea, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So they can't really like not Gage respond it. to you, right. they, you know what I'm saying? And then you get like an honest response. Mm. So he hit me back, you know, in a positive way. <laughs> 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 so we just got to talking, and you know, he was like, oh, you know, I love what you're doing with these jackets, and then... Um, he's like, I'm at Shopify now. We should figure out, um, you know, some to do some stuff together. And I was like, yeah, that's why I was hitting you. My friend Harrison just said that you guys do X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. um, so then we're, we're like doing business now, me and Shopify. Have people wax. been blowing you up for the jackets? Because it's, like, yeah. it's a coveted idea. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember they did like, I think there was like a Star Trek. Wasn't there like a Star Trek, like varsity jacket, like way back in the day? Yeah, for sure. That oh, was a like, similar type that, of But that was like thing. a friend, I remember my friend had somehow yeah, like gotten one of family, them, but it was so. like a friends and family one that he had gotten off an artist or whatever, and I remember seeing it and being yeah. like, this is insane. Like, So same type of vibe, but I did sell some, like, cause we, you know, I did the thing with Shopify and we sold, I forgot how many it was, but they sold out in like 30 seconds. But then in speaking with like, Dan and Nigo, they're like, don't sell the jacket. Just make it exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> and like everyone on that album is getting one. Like Lil Uzi Vert yeah, yeah. has a red one. Yeah, so, like So Uzi was like, yo, I need a red one. And I was like, well, we don't have any red ones. And he was like, make it. So I, <laughs> I hit Dan and I was like, yo, can we make a one-off for Uzi? He was like, yeah. Are they triple branded like Victor Victor, Human Made? Or what? Yeah, it's just Victor Victor and Human Made. Okay. Um, the, the craziest one is the one that ASAP Rocky has on in the video. Well, that's a the testing. That's yeah. a testing jacket. So it's a human made. Um, is that old though? Because like the out, I've never seen that jacket before. But the album's obviously a couple of years old by now. Um, the jacket's not old. It's new. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna have it at our pop up. We're doing a pop up with Nigo. Okay. It, in New York in or New Mi York? One's and time? Miami. Yeah. When's yeah. he gonna be in town? The end of March. What <laughs> are you, like, what you fishing for? No, <laughs> I'm just wondering. I know. Yeah. Yeah. End of March. Yeah. End of March pop up. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, so yeah, but we're gonna we're doing like a whole collection with Human Made, Victor Victor is, and we're gonna probably drop that like later this year. And like the album, you know, it's all the I know Nigo, but yeah. it's like all the, it's like a pretty whittled down exclusive list of artists. Yeah, you'd on be it. you'd be um very surprised at like the certain people that want to be on the album, like big artists. Like who? Did I'm you say gonna, no? And yeah. I didn't say no. <laughs> no. Nigo, Nigo said turned no. him down. Well, he's just like. I don't know that person. <laughs> it's literally, mm. I know Nigo, like, and if I, I yeah, don't know... If I don't, <laughs> oh, yeah. the title, yeah. It's like actually that, it's that actually, serious. Yeah, yeah, it's very... Because, you know, the album started off as... He only wanted it to be like three songs. Right. And me thinking, I'm like, you can't really do a three-song album. Mm. Yeah. You know? You know, I think that I read he hasn't returned to music in almost 20 years. Yeah. How tough was it to convince him to do this? Um, I don't think it was tough at all. I mean, you know, when I... It wasn't tough. It just took time. Like, I would just always bring up the subject. Like, hey, what do you think about doing this album? And he'd be like, oh, let's talk about it. Yeah. And then finally it became, um, yeah, so I was thinking maybe we could do, like, one or two songs. Like, we could do a song with Pharrell and a song with the Clips, you know. Karaoke Boys? <laughs> it, originally, it just started off as, like, a Pharrell song and a, and mm. a Clips song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That was it. I'm yeah. excited for the Teriyaki Boys to make the Teriyaki Boys song is fire. <laughs> is it? Yeah. You ever I, go to Curry Up in Tokyo? Yeah. Big fan? We're, right. o- we're opening one in New York. Really? What? Yeah. I had no idea. Oh, it's the, Wait, it's when you so say good. we, so you're, how much like of a business partner are you with Nigo in this stuff? I mean, in certain things, I'm just like, it's like with sneakers and all things, like if I'm a fan, I just like go all the way. Yeah. It's in, just interesting because so. like Nigo is such a powerful figure in that scene. Yeah. And like you're the one like right next to him with the album drop and now you're saying with the Curry Up in yeah. New York. Curry Up in New York is going to be a... a it's so. It's, I'm ready. We already got the location. Where? Really? Yeah. Where is it? I mean, I don't. Is it in the city? It's, it's soon city, though. Yeah. Okay. Huh? It's gonna be soon. Yeah, it's gonna be soon. Man, that place is great. Yeah. All right. And the merch is great. It's in Soho. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the same thing with Curry Up. Like, I was like, Yo, let's do this album. And then I just once he gave me like the green light, even though it was like only two songs, you know. I just reached out to Rocky and I was like, yo. I'm <laughs> and kind of like one. faked it to other people like, yeah, Nigo's doing an album. No, it wasn't fake because he was doing an album. But sure, sure, sure. You know what I'm saying? I know he knows Rocky. I know they're like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just hit up Rocky. I hit up Cuddy. Yeah. hit up Uzi. And then it just became this thing where it was like a two-song album then became like a seven-song album then became like now it's like a 13-song album. And Friday, another song comes out. Yeah. The Cuddy song. It's Cuddy song. That He's was it. the first song we shot a video for in Paris. Arthur Carr's. Porsche? Yeah, 918. <laughs> <laughs> uh, t- yeah, talk about that song. Like, what's you shot that the was, video in Paris? What shot like a video in Paris? Few we- few months ago or in November, I think. Okay, because you know, uh, with Kenzo, he's now in Paris. Mm-hmm. You know, me and Rocky were talking. We're like, we're gonna shoot everything in because like Rocky's creative. Well, Aug is creative directing. Okay. Also, so it was always like we're gonna shoot everything in Tokyo and like Harlem. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But then COVID hit and it kind of shifted to Paris. <laughs> do you, Do you remember the first time you went? Shopping for Air Jordans in Tokyo was that everything you ever did? No, no. First, I, w- I went shopping for Air Jordans in Dubai, though. Oh, yeah. talk about oh, that. Oh, we yeah. Could, so when um, we could get into that for when, sure. When um, Ye was working on, I think Watch the Throne, maybe, mm-hmm. and Pusha was working on the Ralph Kane mixtape. We were in Dubai, and I remember I went to a sneaker store just because we were bored. I gotta we, ask, we, do you remember the store? I don't remember the store, but they were, back in back in like 2010, they were mm-hmm. really hard to get Jordan sixes, mm-hmm. like. Or 2008, whenever it was, when yeah, I used sure. to wear them a lot. Um, and then we were in the store in Dubai, and I went to a sneaker store, and they had a bunch of them. A bunch of them. And I was like, so you just cleaned them out? Yeah, I had like I bought like 20 pairs. <laughs> shipped them all home. <laughs> well, what happened is I had to. I didn't ship them, but I asked like, "Hey, can you carry this on?" That's like, the wow. when you have friends like that. When you have friends like that, that'll do that. Really. Yeah. They're good friends. <laughs> packing the packing the packing sneakers years, for you. So yeah. I had to throw the boxes away so I could, you know what I mean? Fit more. Just sneakers. a duffel bag full yeah, of infrared sixes. Yeah. F- flat pack the box. That's that's out of. We we don't throw the boxes away on this side. Uh, I mean, I had no choice. I didn't want to throw the boxes. You got to flat either. pack it. I didn't know. I didn't know how to do that. Back were, <laughs> were you trying to like haggle the guy for a deal because you were buying a? a no, a bro. Book? They were regular price. Wow. It was Dubai. I guess retail just, price. Yeah, yeah. A retail price. Yeah. So you're just like whatever. Like yeah, I was like, give me as many. I brought as many. You know, I wear a size eight, but like I was like, if you got eight, eight and a half, nine, like you know, the nines, I'll put two socks on. <laughs> Are you still going through those pairs? Like, do you still have clean pairs of Jordan sixes sitting around? No, I mean, I now they're easier to buy, so now I just buy them on eBay. Stuff. Not eBay. Yes, eBay. <laughs> eBay. eBay sponsors this show. Oh, eBay. Yeah, I bought yeah, yeah, yeah. them on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's one guy to talk who knows about like <laughs> yeah. business partnerships. Yeah. So yeah. you saw that their authenticity yeah, they're like, program. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know, I was looking and I saw, oh, eBay. Yeah, yeah, makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Makes you, sense. The trusted yeah, source. The trusted source, sure. you feel me? For Do you sure, remember sure. then 2012? Mm-hmm. That's when the Infrared 6 got like retroed? Yeah. Because they did... I didn't like that. They yeah, did the black, yeah, yeah. They did the black and red pair that was like... It, it was like the dark red. Yeah. Not man but on the varsity back. red. Yeah. It was yeah. varsity red, yeah. red, not And infrared. then they did the white with varsity yes, red. But like then that. they also did that infrared pack. The infrared pack with, with the two. With the bag. Yeah. Did you buy... I bought those, yeah. But you didn't buy the black and red ones? The varsity, the varsity ones? Yeah. No, I didn't like them. Those were the consolation prizes. So, prize so, so that year. what, ended up, what ended up happening is I, you know, because I wasn't able to get as many pairs as I yeah. wanted, mm-hmm. the ones I wanted. So I ended up getting like two or three of the. And I used to be like very depressed when I had to put on the, 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 the varsity, varsity red. red. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, they were pretty. Because yeah. I was working at Foot Locker at that time and like. The, we had so many pairs of the Varsity Reds. They yeah. went on sale for like 120 You could find those at outlets for $99. The, yeah, yeah, they went on yeah. sale. Because the Jordans were like 150 at the time, they went on mm-hmm. sale for 129, and then the infrared pack. Yeah, we only got like 
eight boxes of it. It was like yeah, so I went to like limited. a bunch of different stores to get them. <laughs> you, you were with your mom again? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I remember the crazy thing about that shoe was is they they made it so it was like because that's when they were doing all the packs mm-hmm. and they made like this weird like um plastic uh like uh wrapping for yeah, it. like that yeah. envelope that like yeah that yeah, was yeah. like made that like just that they normally store like computer parts in for sure, but like for sure. but so the shoe doesn't yellow so i had um like back when did instagram start 2012 so, so this was around the time when those sneakers dropped. So I remember I had so many pairs, I lined up the white ones and the red ones. And I took a picture on it. So, Damn, <laughs> yes, we need that picture. Yes, I got to find gram. that picture. I definitely still have it somewhere. And how did you feel when they finally came back with like the Nike Air on the back? By that time, I was kind of just like, I wasn't, wearing, I wasn't wearing um, Jordans anymore. I was wearing Vans. Yeah, you're yeah, you're a big, you were a big fan. They finally, guy they here. finally bring it back. You know, <laughs> and what I mean? you're like, I'm, yeah, out, of like, oh, I'm <laughs> out of the game. I'm did you ever wear now. the Goyard vans or no? Because you're no, I didn't. They did like the customs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Mike wore Mike uh, Upscale Vandal wore those, but yeah. But those weren't real, right? They were custom. They took like the Goyard uh, material and put them on yeah, vans. Yeah. But two of your loves, what? Goyard, Goyard and vans at the time, right? Yeah. But how you know, I like original things. Okay. I don't really like factory. Yeah, I'm all about. Factory. Okay. Mm. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Were you a Vans guy growing up at all, or no. that was something that came to you later in life? It came to me later in life, yeah. Yeah. Not much of a skateboarder. No. Bike BMX, but not yeah, so yeah, really. Yeah. 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 Skateboard V? No. <laughs> One of the biggest sneaker moments you were a part of, where does it rank? The what? designer sneaker shopping episode that you were on, <laughs> which is a classic. I was on it? No, yeah. Didn't you pull up? You, I think you pulled up in like I did in yeah, LA. What, what is that? Like a Lambo or something? It was, or yeah. And you, <laughs> I specifically, we, we, I specifically remember this because we were like, "Hey, so should we send a car service?" And you're like, "No, we're driving." And I think you both yeah. drove. No, you drove him in like a Lambo. Yeah, I think. Lambo. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to RD. Was what? that RD? the old? That was, that was the car, old yeah. flight club in LA. Old flight it was club. Like in the Who's back. RD? Chef Boy RD? Who's that? <laughs> no RD. You don't know RD. Do, do you know who R.D. is? Rob Deerdeck? No. Oh. R.D., wires only. I no. don't know what that is. Oh, like, why R.D.? He's like the car king. Okay. Uh, See? Oh. Wait, did, were you the one who gave him the advice to, like, jump up and try and swap the shoe? Classic, <laughs> that was a no, classic. That was a classic. That episode was, a, that's a classic episode. That was, like, one of the funnest episodes that we've done Yeah, that was him. good. I remember. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, you got to get up on R.D., bro. What, what is R.D.? RD, that's his name. You know, that's like his name. So you know how like Joe's name is Joseph, probably. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like his name is RD. Like, how do I spell it? RD. He's had a lot of car <laughs> troubles even last weekend. Even last I'll weekend. Follow two, RD on IG. He's right had a lot right. of his car IG troubles. IG is wires only, but it's just the letter R and the letter D. That's his and name. he's gonna sell me a car. Rent. You, I mean, not rent. I mean, he's gonna sell you a car if you can. <laughs> Like, it's wires only, so you got to... If I can what? You know we're sponsored by eBay. If the wire there's hits. No, yeah, there's no, like, financing. It's just like... You don't think I have the monies? I'm not saying you don't. I'm just, you know... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to DM him right now. Yeah, hit him up. Whatever you, whatever you want, he can get it. Some nice cars on here. Yeah. We have to get to Donda 2. You've been doing, like, some interviews. Like, yeah. how's that moving along? It's moving along. I mean, you see he's feverishly trying to finish up for... Yeah. Her. February 2nd. He actually just posted on IG. Do we want to read it out? RD, yeah, be... what did he say? It's no, no, no Kanye. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> no, it's nothing that spicy. Uh, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're all over we, the place. <laughs> no, I know. I spilt milk, but. Uh, yeah, so Don the we two. Were, yeah, we were talking and we were like, I was like, yo, you know, you should put it out. Um, I might have said like April. Because mm-hmm. I was like, it gives enough time to do this, this, and this. And like, he would not let that go. He was like, <laughs> oh, the two two twenty two. It wasn't even two two two. He was just like, I'm trying to put it out like at the end of the month. Mm. Yeah, this was maybe like in January. Yeah, but every time I say something, he'll be like, "You're the person that told me to put my album out in four months." <laughs> like you're, you're banned from speaking. <laughs> <laughs> so these two albums, you're essentially working on these two albums simultaneously. Is that Pusha too? And Pusha, of course, three albums. And Pusha's Adidas deal. And Pusha's Adidas deal. What's it like juggling these three albums at the same time? Three major, major albums. Well, with Kanye, Kanye's like Hands. does everything. Mm-hmm. So you don't. It's kind of. <laughs> um, and then I guess with Nigo and Push, it's it's a lot of like administrative stuff that's like no one would ever see, but it's like a nightmare. Like clear, you got to think about. Um, for example, like Nigo's album, it's. Like maybe like eight or nine different artists on eight or nine different labels. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. yeah. So it's like a nightmare getting clearance and 
You know what I mean? And then with Pusha, you know, there's sample issues because Kanye is producing on there. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> and you're involved in all that day to day stuff. Yeah, unfortunately. Then there's video shoots. It's just like it's a nice it's and press and pr it's literally like I wish the days were longer. It's insane. <laughs> and you still made time for us. And I listen, I told you I have a heart out. That's you know, I have a heart yeah, out. hard <laughs> out. Yeah, it's like I can't even begin to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned like the Dubai shopping trip. Do you remember a shopping session that was crazy with with hanging around these guys at one point? Like anything with, that stands out? With who? Like any of just these the guys? artists that yeah come from the studio or before the studio? Is there I one mean, that sticks out? Yeah, Tiger will Goes spend money Tiger. like it's falling out of trees. So really? He, yeah, you go to the store with him and you're like, yo, you need to chill. I'm not like yo. I'm just like. <laughs> not my place to say just but. sneakers and it's and not like, so much that I'm like you need to chill it's just like yeah you know I I think you know and I get I get um, flack for saying this, but I, I believe that Tiger's like one of the best just rappers I've always thought that this is Tiger that has an LA Gear collaboration no he yeah he, he used to yeah yeah I mean people evolve but this guy I think he's like his fashion sense is so we, I remember, like, if I if I was gonna dress like a rapper, right? If I was, if I was gonna be a rapper, I would, that would be the blueprint. That would be the blueprint. It's funny, okay. no, it's funny because we had, I keep referencing, but like on our other talk show, we had Travi McCoy, obviously, mm -hmm. who's you know in, instrumental in Tyga's career. And he was like trying to put Tyga on the. He said he was trying to put Tyga onto like streetwear, like when he first came out. And Tyga's like, no, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear Versace. Like I'm gonna dress <laughs> like a rapper. Like I'm not gonna do this. Wow, really? Yeah, it's so, interesting. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I would if I was a rapper, my. If I came back as a rapper, I would dress like I'd go to Tiger's closet and be. Like, you never interesting. aspired to be a rapper? Nah, I yeah, did maybe when I was like in high school or something. Did you have bars? Nah, unfortunately, I don't. You never had one verse, Steven? I've had verses, yeah, but I'm not. They're not good. <laughs> I want to go. Nothing worth oh, repeating. No, but I got like writing credit on. Albums. Oh really? I'm not gonna like tell. Interesting. But I, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've helped like some bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, throwing out some bars in the studio. Do you remember like a, a like a song that you have a writing credit on where you're like, oh, I did come up with that one line. Is there something that sticks out? Yeah, I'll tell you offline. Okay. <laughs> Off the record? <laughs> Off, yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> we first started working together when we did the Jim Jones cover. Yeah. Were you managing him or like PR? I was his publicist, yeah. You hear every week like Jim is like one of the best rappers in New York. What's yeah. it like to see his whole ascension? Like, I've always been someone that tries to work with people. I'm, like, I was saying earlier about, like, Nigo, I'm, like, a fan. So mm -hmm. the same thing with Jim Jones. I remember that I, I I was friends with someone that worked at Columbia at the time. Remember he did, he had a deal at Columbia? Yeah. And I was like, yo, you need to get me in front of Jim. I need to work with Jim. Mm. And she put me in touch with Dame Dash. And I had a meeting with Dame. And I was like, yo, <laughs> you need to let me work with Jim because this is what I can do. Were you still a young guy at that point, like, when you first met Dame Dash? Yeah, because when did when when was that? When did the Pray for Rain album come out? Oh man, were you were you working that album? Yeah. Um, Sorry, Tinker just texted me. Who's Tinker? <laughs> really? Wait, seriously? It, it was just a flex, real quick. Did he? Who's Tinker? Oh, the guy from <laughs> Tinker Nike? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, okay, so Jim Jones' Complex cover was December '08, January '09. So was it yeah, before so, then? Yeah, it was before then because if the so I start, probably started working with him like. Oh, 07 then maybe just before you ever took him sneaker shopping yes it was before that dame dash was at the cover shoot so, okay, so yeah and then like but his you were like so i was like jim's first album was um on my way to church okay yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so i thought that was like i still think it's a classic mm -hmm. yeah so I, when he put that out like i was i became a fan and i think he, he might have had mixtapes before then right i think yeah. so yeah i was always a fan of him on the dipset yeah. mixtape i was just like yo this, this guy is Yo, and then he put out that album, and I used to, I played that shit like every day. Mm. And now, you know what I'm saying? So when I met Laura, and Laura was like, interesting thing about Laura is on the Jay Z, on the Jay Z song, all the Lauras, and he's talking about Tiffany, that Laura. All the Lauras, yeah, yeah, okay. So yes. that's, who's, <laughs> Laura? who's Laura? That's Laura. <laughs> okay. Who's Laura? I don't, I don't know. Do I, I don't know her. I probably yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Laura knew Jim, and okay. Laura put me in touch with Dame, and through Dame is how I started working with Jim. And I was his publicist. Mm. For that, like, Did you link that. up Jim for the first ever sneaker shopping episode? Mm. No, that was no. later on. That was later. That yeah. was Mikey Navarro. You know him? Oh yeah, yeah. He was at working at Columbia too. No? Yeah, he has yeah. like industry. He's like a VP. He's a, yeah, he's a VP now. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Your industry connections have afforded you some special sneakers because I know you do have Eminem Jordan fours. Yeah. How did I do. that happen? I, I jokingly asked. <laughs> Did you? I, that's, that's, there's so much power in that ask. Yeah. That half well, joke. that's that was when I was working at Def Jam. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, 
I can't remember the exact scenario, but I was with Paul and I was like, yo, you by any chance have a size eight in those? I might have been at his house or his office. Paul was wearing them? No, yeah. no, he had, he, they had, like, you have these sneakers here? Yeah. yeah. There was, he had like a pair of sneakers over there and I was like, do you have a size eight in those? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. He just had them right on the spot? He was like, let me look. And I think he had to ask someone. I don't think he had them, but. Yeah, they're he, still he, like locked away in a vault yeah, somewhere. He, he yeah. found them for me. And like maybe like a couple weeks later, I went and picked them up. Have you worn them? Yeah, I wore them in like maybe like I got I maybe got them on Monday and I wore them on Tuesday. Nice. And it happened to be snowing that day. Wow. No, come on. Snow boots. I, I guess yeah. it's a car heart. Car heart. Yeah. yeah. Function. Yeah. But I wasn't walking Take in the snow. Keys. Like I drove from Connecticut to the parking garage, so I wasn't like walking <laughs> in snow. It just happened to be snowing outside. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay. Have you been bouncing around a lot lately, or like you try to? The recording wise, is it Paris, New York, LA, or or yeah, what? It's Paris, New York, LA, Miami, um, Atlanta. Yeah. So you're not getting stuck on eight hour delays on flights okay. like our. Oh no, nah, we don't do uh, <laughs> flight delays. <laughs> <sighs> they had me. Uh, yeah. He had a Del- rough. Delta had me down bad, man. I the, can imagine. The problem is, I slipped from the gold medallion to the silver medallion, so they treat me. Oh, you got to get. I was when I was on Delta. I Tell had me. um. I was I was a 360 member. What is that? What's that? That's like I know you're signing people to 360 deals. No, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to do that. I'm not, I actually am not a fan of like 360 deals. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyways, <laughs> but um, it's like concierge key for American. It's like an invite only thing. It's like the black card for American Express. How am I gonna get an invite? I think it's like your profile, how much you fly. It's like a combination hmm. of things. All right. <laughs> I might be a ways off. Yeah, you might. I mean, if you're silver and go, like, <laughs> you might be a ways off. So are those, <laughs> are, those, are those human maids? Are those, like, the best sneakers to wear on a flight, like, to the airport? Oh, no. You know, I really wear, like, um, I have these North Face house shoes. Just all Almost the, like the moccasins? Yeah. yeah. The, ones. the ones that look like a jacket? Yeah. They look like, yep. Those are the best You shoes. just slide them in and out, like, going yeah. on security? Well, I don't go through security. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can't relate. Can't relate. Besides, like, the overarching, this Pusha album, what are you really excited about? Music-wise or yeah. just what? Music-wise. I think the Pusha album is probably, like, it's better than Daytona, if that says anything. So really? album of the year? Yeah, for sure. Album of the, like, the, what is this, 2022? Mm-hmm. When did Dark Twisted come out? Um, t- 20, 2010. Okay, no? so I... 2012, right? 2012, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. It came out 2012? Yeah, yeah. Dark Twisted came out in 2012. No, it didn't. Hold on. I'm going to say 2012 off the top of my head. For Dark Twisted Fantasy? No, it came out in 2010. Yeah, really? 2010. 2010. November yeah, 22nd, 2010. Sorry. Yeah, so I'd say, um, mm-hmm. I might say it's like... Best album since? Of the decade. Really? Because the decade would be... Of wow. the decade. Yeah, 2012 to 2022, right? Okay, of that 10-year span? I think so. Okay. So I mean, Dark what, Twisted what, Fantasy was the best album, in your opinion, of 2010 to 2020? I, I think Dark Twisted is the best album of all time. Right? I'm just saying, you know, every decade is like a great album. Yeah. I'd say this is... And you were there for the, those studio sessions, right? I yeah, feel like that Hawaii. was a special sneaker moment because that was right when the those are the twos six, were first. Yeah, not just the Jordan 6s were Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, right? and the, there's the... The um, kind of like a big deal video, which another... Yeah. I, w- I was interviewing Cuddy for the cover. That's right, Cuddy was there. Yeah. And Pusha is fa- infamously telling Kanye, I haven't got them yet. I haven't got the oh, easy yeah, yeah. ones yet. And, and he, I think Kanye is like, Don... Pusha hasn't get, got him yeah, yet. Get him the, yeah. <laughs> Were you next in line after that? <laughs> I think Don, I got mine the same time Pusha got here. That yeah. video shoot. Don got them for me, yeah. yeah. The video shoot cause, I think that you're next to cause, like that oh, video yeah. shoot. And Kanye spit like a verse that never came out. That yeah. is, oh, and then there was the- Cause yeah. is part of the Nego album too. We have some surprises. Really? Yeah. Well, I saw the he did a jacket. Cause did a jacket. Yeah. But this we got a special. Okay. I was just thinking about the, the cause complex- Cover? Clips with the clips. Yep. Yeah, 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 we're doing yeah. something with, yeah, yeah. He's doing something with everybody. <laughs> like, they were like, well, I love that because, on the, like, on eBay, I think that that's one of the highest, like, bid on really covers. Yeah, if I like a couple years, eBay. I checked eBay. Yeah, yeah exactly. That yeah. wasn't even a plug, but I think like because like, you know, it looks you're a fan of it the looks, clips and cause you pr- yeah. you like Iconic. print that out and put yeah. frame that it up. Fire. Yeah. yeah. All right. Listen, <laughs> a lot going on. Yeah. What's next? Like. And when I mean next, we know what's next, but like, what's the week look like? Are you like in studio? This week? Yeah. We're in studio, pushes in town. I'm trying to, I'm on deadline for the Nego album. So Universal's on my, on my bumper. Like. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. Listen, I know you're a busy man. I'm glad that we got you before some of the madness. It's already starting. <laughs> 
Uh, can't thank you enough for coming. And yeah, we'll look out. No date for any albums yet, right? Besides Donda. Well, two. Nigo is March 25th. Okay. And Push I'll let him. Or maybe I'll tweet tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, thanks so much for coming through. Um, yeah. Thanks we'll, for having we'll, me. We'll yep. see you soon. This is fun. We'll, yeah, we may be working on some stuff, too. Besides we are. Us. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't be coy, Joe. Yeah, we might be, too. Oh, interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, Steven. Yeah, all right. Thanks so much, man. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you, man. This has been the Complex Sneakers Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, we will see everyone next week.